When we reach the restaurant, I stop and stare. Not quite what you're expecting. Wink. It looks so normal. After passing the invisibility barriers, I was ready for anything. But this place could be any number of restaurants I've eaten at with my parents. The only obvious difference is the customers. Damien isn't the only one here with wings. There's a little figure at one of the tables who looks like a cross between a bird and a goblin. And across the way, I see Jacob sitting with two older men, one of whom, one of whose hair is apparently on fire. <laughs> it's simpler to rely on standing, uh, standard suppliers and build something in keeping with the world. They save their energy for the food. It's in the other world. There are no limits. You can eat off floating platters in a crystal palace. What is the other world? Hell. No <laughs> one has told you about that yet. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't ready for that for some reason. <laughs> You're just like, hell. <laughs> you weren't even like, hell. <laughs> or <laughs> <laughs> what else would it be? <laughs> you, were just very, you were just very blunt, like, hell. <laughs> What'd you think it was? <laughs> That's my thought process entirely. <laughs> think of it like Fairyland Hell. It's another world next to this one where magic runs more strongly. It is wonderful, but it has its dangers. Now I want to call this episode like Dinner in Hell. <laughs> but we're not Spartan eating in dinner the other fest. world. <laughs> That's where they die. Apparently so. That's where the magic creatures come from. Elves, dragons, all sorts of myth uh, myths and legends. No, it's more like, tonight we dine in hell. And then once they get there, it's like, no reservations, no service. <laughs> They're like, well, shit. <laughs> There's a hundred of us. We're hungry and we got spears. <laughs> they walk away all No, they walk away all sad. <laughs> oh. And you? We should talk about that later. He's being evasive again. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Be ruder. <laughs> no, I want to tell you, but I think we should order first. Okay, he's like, I'm hungry first. We sit at a booth and I look around for a menu without seeing one. Then Damien takes a narrow cylinder from a vase on the center of the table, unrolls it, and hands it to me. A scroll! I look over the listings, but I have no idea what most of them are. They're not even all in the same language, as far as I can tell. Would you like me to order for you? I'll let him order. Let's see what weird food he eats. And, cause, and he's not an idiot, so he probably knows that you'd want something normal. -ish. And I don't want to be like, I want a hamburger, and be like, they don't serve those here. <laughs> or, and if I pick or, something random... It, it, it could, could be, be like, like baby uh, fingers. <laughs> no, it'd be like baby seal. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> if you ask for a grilled cheese sandwich, it's like you came to a fancy restaurant for that. That too. It's like ah, such a waste. Although I guess he'd be like, those are cheap, you know. <laughs> when the waiter comes, Damien rattles off a string of syllables I can't understand, then smiles at me. I like cheap women. <laughs> he was like, don't forget the chloroform or. <laughs> I guess chloroforms with the rag thing doesn't go in food. Whatever. It could be her drink. <laughs> a few minutes later, the appetizers arrive. Damien has a set of tiny eggs inside a nest of leaves, and I have a thin pale brown tube filled with cream like some sort of jelly roll. What is this? Oh, good uh, luck pronouncing that. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> An amusion. Take good. a bite. A small one. I nibble at the end. It tastes like an ordinary cake. Is it normal for witches to have dessert first? Take another bite. I nibble again, and my eyes go wide. It tastes like biting into a packet of sweet and sour sauce. Keep going. Wink. I imagine she's like, more. <laughs> like, he's yes. like, yes, keep eating, but slowly. <laughs> I want to savor this. <laughs> Keep nibbling away slowly. I Another, want to watch. <laughs> Another bite. This one I nearly spit out. Vinegar. I struggle to swallow and... If you don't like that one, don't laugh. 
so I screw my face up a bit, hold back the giggle, and ask, Why not? The idea is to amuse the mouth. The flavor will keep shifting until you laugh, and then it will stay that way. Oh. Wink. How magical. <laughs> it's such a, like... Rid <laughs> a statement. So, so lame. It's like, how magical, doy? <laughs> oh. I'm just thinking, what a stupid thing to do with, with the taste thing, or like, it, well, it stops when you laugh. Like, That's why he said to make I... it a small bite, because he didn't want us to waste it. Yeah, but it's like, why would you laugh to lock in the flavor? It should be something else. Because it's magic, Tim. <laughs> stupid. I don't want to miss out on the effect, so I keep a straight face while I finish my amusing. That's probably right. Yeah, it's probably trying to be a punny name. A waitress comes by to clear the appetizer plates, and we wait for the main course. Oh, I don't even see what I got to lock the flavor on? Jesus. Probably what whatever I... you liked. Yeah, but I don't know what I like now. I guess that's why. The well, game's like, we don't want to tell you what you like. Like, I, I would have gotten mad, like, you should have told me when it was still cake. <laughs> Dude, you would have, too. You would have been like, but I could have had cake. Chocolate ah! cake. <laughs> <laughs> I the music, suppose it's time. The music got all serious, too. Time? To tell you about where I come from, frowny face. Please promise you won't repeat this story to anyone else. Um, suspenseful cliffhanger, because I have to use the bathroom. So, oh. I'll be right back in a second. Alright. It should have been cake. <laughs> very long, Tim. I just walk over, and I walk back. <laughs> Tell me more. Uh, I figured that was probably a good place to cut the video anyway. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, you're the one who's about to tell us the story, so... Fine. Coming now. Get on with it! Please promise you won't repeat this to anyone else. I... I promise. It's not easy to talk about it. That's why I'm smiling. You don't have to if you really don't want to. No, I just like to lead you on. <laughs> no, I know you. Being who you are, I don't believe you'll judge me the same way. You don't have the same expectations because you weren't born to magic. Neither was I. What? But you're... Too many weird points. <laughs> Not human, but my parents are. He's like, I bought these wings at the mall. <laughs> now you know my dark secret. <laughs> uh... Huh? I'm a changeling. What does that mean? I feed off of love. It means someone swapped me for my parents' blood child when I was a baby. At least, that's what I think happened. I don't exactly remember. But, um, you're blue. I, I think they'd sort of notice. I don't look- I didn't look like this until later. Oh man, that must be weird. It's like, ah, oh, baby. He's turning blue, and 
growing wings and has purple hair. Kind kind of reminds me of um the jerk, the movie. Yeah. Where, where the guy, uh, he he's raised by uh, a family of black people and he's white. And when he's like twenty plus some years old, he's ready to move out, and the father takes him aside and says, "I'm sorry, son, but you're white." You mean I'm gonna stay this color? <laughs> you thought you changed? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what this reminds me of. <laughs> it, it was making me think of something else too, but I lost it. If it comes back to me, I'll mention it. Uh, <laughs> I grew up always believing that there was something wrong with me. That the face I saw in the mirror wasn't right, but I didn't know why. Ah, I was gonna be like, puberty must have hit him really hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, I imagined all sorts of things. Perhaps my parents were, weren't my parents at all. Perhaps I was a lost prince. Someday my real family would come and take me away to a crystal castle and save me. I think every unhappy child imagines that. He sighs and brushes stray crumbs off the table, not meeting my eyes. Sad face. Did they come? Your birth family? No, i never seen them. I wish they had, even if one's a demon. They couldn't be were Well... When I turned 13, I saw my true affairs for the first time. You're right! <laughs> I was terrified. I had to learn to hide it and pretend to be normal, even though I knew it was all a lie. It was quite a shock when I came to Iris, and everyone started demanding to know my bloodline. I couldn't tell them, and I didn't want to explain. Why would they even ask? That's rude. You did. <laughs> but I said you didn't have to answer. Smile. You see, that's why I could tell you this. Because it doesn't matter to you. Because you'll be dead soon. It's like, magic users aren't supposed to eat the laffy food. It's like, the laffy food. It's like, that's why I could tell you. Because you don't matter. <laughs> oh. no, one, no one will believe you. <laughs> yeah. They'll be like, oh, Rain, you're so gullible. <laughs> um. They want to know who I'm related to, so they know what my status. Uh, so they know my status. They aren't even... They aren't <laughs> that many all magical families, and they're very proud of who they are. And when I wouldn't answer their questions, because I couldn't. That made them think I had something to hide. Especially William, my dream boy. <laughs> his eyes flick back and forth, then suddenly he leans back in his seat and smiles. Before I can ask why, the waiter arrives to bring the main course. Born, apple wink. <laughs> apple wink. <laughs> apple wink. Yeah, he's like. Is he bringing those roofies or not? <laughs> the food is good, but my mind is too full of questions to really pay attention. There's obviously a lot more to the story, but for someone who has trouble trusting others, he's probably told me more than he wants to already. I don't want to push him by asking for more. At last yeah, he looks up from his little paper. At last he looks up from his plate. Do you know that William was originally a falcon? What? Well, we were horror mates at first, freshman year. He said he barely knew you because you were on a different hall. He probably didn't want to spoil his image by telling you what happened. Being kicked out of Falcon Hall for starting a fist fight doesn't sound very cool, does it? Sure it does. A fight with you? He lets out a shallow sigh. Always assuming I'm involved. <laughs> he kept trying to break into my room. He followed me around, but I wouldn't tell him anything. William was like, why won't you love me? <laughs> because I'm an it. <laughs> no. 
Let's talk about something else. Right. Um, do you come here often? Oh, on occasionally. But not for a while. I only bring dates here. <laughs> it's much nicer when you have someone to share with. Wink. <laughs> You're like the dessert. I could have already had dessert if you told me how the laughing thing worked. I know, right? What a dick. The dessert? There's only one? Oh, shit. Uh, I wanted two figured cakes. Him out. <laughs> it's like, cheap well, it out on me, eh? <laughs> oh. Well, it's possible to request some extra if you're greedy, but I don't think it would be a good for you. Wink. The dessert plate just provides... Here. The dessert plate is provided to everyone. Gratitude. Even if you, even if you only came for coffee, it's not part of the magical tradition of hospitality. No guest should go without it. It's part of the magical tradition. Quiet. <laughs> so we get free dessert, eh? I like this place. That's nice. He settles back in his seat and looks at me. Have you ever considered wearing something sort of? ornament in your hair? Something that could really bring out the color of your eyes? I don't know. Don't do it. I'm a falcon. We like pretty things. Tee hee. Last year, there was a senior in Butterfly Hall who wore all gold circlets with an enormous flower on each side of her head that changed colors as the day went by. You should have seen her. She was beautiful. Dark hair, like a waterfall. Hmm. I poke absently at my plate and set my silverware down and allow the waiter to take it away. A few minutes later, the dessert plates arrive. Strawberries. Hey, it's free, don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> look more closely. Wink. I look again. They're shaped like strawberries, but their surfaces are smooth and seedless, and slightly shiny, like candy. Is that, um, marzipan? I've heard the word, but I don't really know what that means, or what it means. No, it's better. They're blown sugar glass. Careful, they're fragile. Oh, that sounds expensive. Yeah. And they give it out for free? Yeah. He's like... But Lies, they were actual glass. <laughs> <laughs> Put one in your mouth <laughs> and suck gently. After you die, they take your money. <laughs> <laughs> suck gently so that the glass doesn't shatter and cut your throat up. Um, okay. I pick up a sugar berry and pop it into my mouth. For a moment, there's just a vague sweetness as the sugar melts on my tongue. Then all of a sudden, a burst of liquid flavor. Yeah. Damien laughs at the surprise on my face. Whoa, 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 smile. They're filled with strawberry juice. It's supposed to provide energy. It's sounding tasty right about now, actually. Yeah, that does. Also does... very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Why doesn't the sugar dissolve? Magic. <laughs> Wait, oh. I, didn't even, I didn't even read that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A wizard did it. <laughs> After finishing the strawberries, I do feel energized. Man, we... We are so carefree right now, look at this. Yeah, I know. It's like, merits. we're having the best week ever. Um, yep, now to dump them. Yeah. We chat a bit more, and then Damien pays the bill, trying to hide the amount from my eyes. And then it's time to find a van back to campus. He didn't oh, want us to see. Back to find out what the price is. <laughs> I don't care that much. If I come back to eat there alone, I'll no, be no. like, dear God! <laughs> No, no, you, you come back later and it's like, by the way, how much is this, this, and that? And they say, oh, well, it costs this much. Now you know how much you pay them. You'd be like, I want a coffee, please. And then you get your free strawberry desserts. Well, I'm sure you probably only get like a less, depending on how much you spend, which would only be fair. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Maybe you only get one if you get a coffee, a small one. And again. Like, it's like, I don't have enough money to eat at the food court in the mall. Coffee. You know? <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> All throughout, he's been a perfect gentleman, a friend, and not a hint of anything more.